Iran once came to visit Eleanor and Franklin Roosevelt at the White House in the late 1930s. He brought with him a beautiful Persian rug. And uh, when they laid out the rug in front of the Roosevelt, uh, he leaned over and turned up the corner of the rug and uh, explained to the Roosevelt that the reason this this rug is world class is because the knots are so tight and you can get only get a rug this beautiful if it's made by children. And it's children's hands uh, that actually made this rug. And of course you can imagine Mrs. Roosevelt's response to that. She ordered the rug out of the White House and it was never to be seen again. Um, during my Peace Corps years in Iran, I knew children that worked on the looms. Uh, in fact, I have at least a couple of pictures uh, that I took at the time, and I promised myself that I would never buy a rug made by children, and I have kept that promise uh, to myself. But I did buy rugs that were made by village women and men, uh, adults, uh, because that was part of a burgeoning yeah, industry in Iran. And like many of these four volunteers here, I'm haunted by the poverty and about what we saw and what we left behind. And that has ensured that I've always kept my commitment both to the children of Iran, but also to try to keep the children of the world. And that's why Rug Mark USA and what it does is so vital. It not only changes the lives of thousands of exploited children, it reminds us of our obligations as citizens of the world to help those who are invisible and to help those who have no voice. The Good Week program is very education and outreach with responsible production and informed consumer. The chance to do what American families take for granted, to get an education and have a choice in how to live their lives. Nina Smith and Stephanie Odegaard are angels of all of these children. They are my heroes. Um, and uh, uh, like many heroes, they are passionate about their cause. Um, and they, their enthusiasm is infectious. And they obviously have looped me into the crowd. I also want to thank uh, my fellow Return Peace Corps volunteers in South Florida for coming today. All of our experiences stay with us forever, but in particular, our experiences with the children of the world. And in South Asia, with these particular children who labor every day, who need an opportunity to go to school and to have productive lives. I want to thank uh, Mayor. <laughs>